So this is Fred Vates being the video here bringing you yo-yo tricks you haven't seen before and today it's time for a brand new yo-yo trick tutorial. <laughs> so today I'll be doing a tutorial for the yo-yo trick called Hourglass. And this actually isn't one of my own yo-yo tricks, but it's it's an older yo-yo trick that I'll be doing a tutorial for here today. I don't know who made this trick, but it's pretty popular in yo-yoing. It's an advanced yo-yo trick. Alright guys, so the hourglass trick, let's get into it. It starts off with a breakaway, and then I do a one and a half mount, right here, and then I swing the yo-yo all the way around both of my pointer fingers, right here, and then I come off the front, in front of everything, right there, and then I crinkle my non throw hand pointer in towards myself, and then up and over, and then I create like that little figure there, where my non throw hand pointer finger and thumb is holding that triangle open, and the same thing on my throw hand. So we're gonna have another look, and then move on a little bit. So the one and a half mount, I go all the way over and then in front as I come out, and then I make that structure right there with my fingers, and then I swing it around, and then in front, and then onto that string right there. And that's the first part. All right, so moving on to the next part. So you do all the first part again, hopefully you guys got that down. We'll see it a little bit better in the side view as well later on. So I do that first part. And then from here, I actually go inside the triangle, in behind. And then I swing the yo-yo around. I use my throw hand to kind of give the yo-yo momentum to come in front of everything and then just land on that triangle as it comes around. And then from here, I pop off. And then my non-throw hand thumb and pointer finger are underneath the string right there. And then you can pull your hands apart or put them closer together to adjust that string length. So you get it to a nice length to go back through that triangle in front and then just back onto the triangle and the nice thing is when you drop this, you're back in the trapeze again, as long as you come out of that triangle. So let's have another look a little bit faster here. Usually when people do this, they do it twice. You can do it as many times as you want, so like coming in and out of the triangle. So I do that first part right there, and I go inside and I swing around, I land on, on the front. And the nice thing about this trick as well is that as long as you have that string at a good length, you won't be hitting your hand too much. You don't want it too long or too short so it'll be a lot easier to maneuver in and out of that triangle. And you're always landing on the front. You're, you're not really going behind the structure ever for any part of this trick, so that's kind of nice. Except for when you go inside the triangle um, earlier in that first part. Now let's have a look at the side view. And like I said, like this trick is pretty much all in front of the structure, so it's not too much like going all over the place, I guess. As you can see, here's the first part. It's all in front, and then I go in behind here, and then back into the front, and then right back through the triangle, and then in front again. And then I'll give you guys one more repetition of it. And hopefully you guys can see all that, and hopefully it helped you out. And the side view really helps out sometimes, so thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial on the AO trick called Hourglass today. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Brett in the video. I hope that this video helped you out today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the video again next time.